right, boys, the camera's broken today, but we're gonna talk about Temporal Forces. Let's go, baby! Temporal Forces, guys, I'm excited for the set. It's gonna be a game-changing set. I'm actually a little bit scared of the set. Eerie's showing up. I'm gonna talk about her a little bit. But let's talk about what Pokemon we think are gonna be amazing and uh, what is interesting here. Of course, I'm gonna be a little bit biased. I'm gonna look at the biggest Pokemon, not the basics, and mostly EXs as well, and Pokemon that have abilities. Like, who cares about this Nuzleaf? But anyways, guys, let's look at this. We got the shift tree here. Choose three of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Your opponent shuffles any others and all cards attached to them into their deck. See, this is what I'm talking about, man. This kind of shenanigans here. I don't understand what Pokemon is trying to do. I can't, can somebody explain this to me? What is this? Explosive tornado? Bro, you, you just ruined my gameplay. Bro, Gardevoir decks are dead. Donezo. Choose three of your opponents, bench Pokemon, your opponent shuffles ev everything else. So, I mean, you, I guess it doesn't really hurt a lot of decks. It doesn't hurt like Comfy decks, does it? Because you could just shuffle back Comfy, that doesn't hurt you. But no, the problem is, you would like it, it hurts Tina decks. This destroys Tina's. It's such an interesting card, bro. Of course, it's really hard to pull off. It's stage two. But such an interesting control, uh, in a control kind of uh, deck, this is such an interesting uh, option here. We got Roselia here, ability Poison Point. If this Pokemon is in your active and is damaged by an opponent's attack, the opponent... The attacking Pokemon is now poison. It's very weak. Very weak. We don't like that ability. Uh, so I don't know why they even made an alt art for it. I really don't understand Pokemon. Can somebody explain this to me? Turtwig. Solid shell. This Pokemon takes 20 less damage from attacks. Absolutely not necessary. Nobody's going to be playing it anyways. Uh, but we do like the Turtwig. Uh, the Grotl here. A little bit more power. And I think it's just for the Torterra. But... I think what you do is you just rare candy into Torterra. So Grotel is going to be useless. And I guess this is a nice special ability to, to have. Solid Shell. Uh, I guess it also applies to damage on the bench. So that's why it's really good. So it, he, actually, he actually survives Radiant Greninjas. Wow. He actually survived Radiant Greninjas. No, no, no. I take it back. This is actually really strong. This Turtwig is genius. Also, 20 damage from attack, so he doesn't, that doesn't stop the, the damage counters. Anyways, Torterra, of course, you guys know about him. One of the biggest cards coming up. I think he's bait. There are going to be some Torterra decks. I mean, he's pretty big, but I mean, you just run one Radiant Charizard, and he's pretty much done those. He's pretty controlled. It's, it's going to be hard for anybody to, to really be able to go against Radiant Charizard. But his ability is really nice. 30 damage times every Pokemon that's green you have in play. A little bit expensive, a lot of Pokemon, but it's only one energy, one green energy. Also for three energies, one green and two colorless, 150 damage and heal 50 from this Pokemon. Not really strong. Not really strong at all. So let's keep going. Let's see what we have here. Iron Leaf is going to be insane. It's going to be absolutely broken. And for example, a Tina deck, Giratina V, uh, you can run this with it, be one one off attacker, like a tech attacker that can just KO ghosts and roar. Like it, it'd be amazing versus Roaring Moons and versus Charizards. So uh, Giratina really had a bad matchup against Charizard. This actually fixes it because you can actually pull that energy from the Tina, pull the Psychic, pull the green from the Tina, give it to him, switch him active, and then he can actually... With one attachment of green or one mirage gate can KO Charizard full power and just by playing him from hand. Absolutely amazing. Tina is going to be able to utilize him with all the ultra balls they use. Really strong card there guys. Really excited for that card. Everything else here is trash. Nobody likes red for some reason. But Gouging Fire is interesting. He's one of those uh, fire Pokemon that are necessary because you want something that does a lot of damage but for little... Uh, energy and this is one of the best three energy attacks to be honest that 260 attack is crazy but the problem is you can never use that attack again until you switch it so it'll be mostly in decks that can switch out a lot no more escape rope so you're gonna be basically focused on switching out you would run like four to eight switch cards 
and switches. That's how this is what decks that would run this. So maybe it's really good in one off, one prize, maybe lost boxes. And he might be a nice in a Charizard deck, but uh, it's, a, it's a very expensive card. It's interesting, interesting idea, but expensive. This is another card I was kind of excited about. Let's look at this. Once during your turn, you may put five damage counters on this Pokemon. If you do attacks used by this Pokemon, do 120 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon. Absolutely crazy. So he does 280 damage to a Pokemon just by putting five damage counters on him. But he does get KO'd and retaliated by 120. But the problem is 580, well, uh, I mean, 120 more damage, 280 damage with two energy is actually crazy because you can one shot two prizers while the, your opponent cannot do that. And then if you top this card with an EX belt, oh my god. So we're really excited for this for alligator. A lot of ideas coming from this one prize or the maximum belt that can do insane amounts of damage. Really excited for that. Nobody likes Walking Wake. Uh, I mean, we can talk about it. Uh, Azure Wave is this ability damage from attacks used by this Pokemon isn't affected by effects. Interesting. So he just puts all the damage out. and But that also, of course, doesn't apply to weakness. So you got to remember that. But also 120 plus damage. If your opponent's active Pokemon is affected by special condition, this attack does 120 more. Special deck, uh, special card for special deck, not going to be seen a lot in most decks. Walk Trio EX is interesting. This is going to be adding to the mill decks. Discard up to three energy. This attack. No, never mind. This is not, has nothing to do with mill decks. What the hell am I talking about? I was thinking about the other Walk Trio. But yeah, discard up to three energy from your hand. This deck does 60 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon for each energy you discarded. Really weak. And then stun hold 120 during opponent's uh, next Pokemon. Uh, Next turn, the defending Pokemon can retreat. Nice, maybe a good option for these is the control -y decks. Uh, but I know these control -y decks don't care about attacking. I mean, it is very, very little amount of energy needed, just two. So, very interesting. Got Iron Thorns and Iron Hands Baby form. Let's look at this. Alloy Hands, 80 plus damage for opponents active Pokemon. It's Pokemon EX or Pokemon V. This attack does 80 more. Oh my god, that's amazing. So, for one, uh, for... Three energy, you can do 160 attack, and he's a one prize. That's really good, actually. I really like that. And then you can paralyze the opponent's Pokemon, but that does take up two energy. And then Iron Thorns here, 670 damage, times the revealed top deck, top five of your deck. This deck does 70 times for every future card you find there. Then discard the revealed future cards and shuffle the other cards back into your deck. Damn, so you can actually do up to 280. No, you could do 350 damage. What the hell? Are you kidding me? You could do 250 damage with this Pokemon? 350. Of course, that's insanely rare. But he can hit 280 with four futures. If you give him maximum belt, he KOs fucking Charizards. This is insane. There's going to be certain decks that run... Uh, what kind of future cards do we have? We have supporters, we have earthen vessels, we have... Is, we don't have... I mean, I guess you could super rod all your future Pokemon back and then use it. So you'd run like four super rods in a deck. Wow, this is crazy. But you'd have to like really mill through the deck. You'd need Ultra Balls, uh, earthen vessels, um... You'd need insane amounts of stuff that just go through the deck, like Pokestops, Galore, you would need everything, toss out everything, then Super Rod back three Pokemon twice, and you'd still not lose game, but still do 350 damage. Absolutely insane. Wow. <laughs> Absolutely crazy. I'm so... Cr I can't believe that. Uh, I can't believe that that Pokemon is going to be a real thing, but it's going to be very hard to pull out, but still really cool. Let's look at Iron Valley in baby mode. Um, there's two of them. No, it's one. Uh, one is no, there's two of them, right? Because this one, yeah, there's two of them. This one is calculate, look at the top four cards of your deck and put the Mac in any order. Okay, not great. 100 plus damage if you play the future supporter card from your hand. This attack does 100 more. Wow, so just 200 damage for free. I mean, this is, these are interesting cards. Of course, we have Fluttermain here, guys. Everybody knows Fluttermain, very exciting card. Uh, cool tech cards. You can add it in certain de decks. Slow down the opponent. Control them a little bit. Control decks are gonna love this Flutter Man, where you can. If he's in the active spot, your opponent's active Pokemon has no abilities. But uh, 
and you could still play your your deck your your game plan. It's, it's better than Klefeki basically. But let's look at the second Iron Valiant. Twin lasers, twenty damage. This deck also does twenty damage to one of your opponents. Bench Pokemon, very weak. Zen Blade, one twenty damage for three energy, one twenty, and you can't use Zen Blade. Very weak. But they are future Pokemon. I mean, I'm see I'm seeing this as the only way you're gonna be able to play like the Iron Thorns majestic deck. You'd have to just super rod Pokemon back. And that's the only way. But this deck, this deck is serious now. With all these baby Pokemon, you can actually create an Iron Thorns future deck this is insane i'm actually really excited about this you could be hitting 350 damage with maximum with only four future pokemon you could be hitting uh 280 damage and and you could actually do it consistently like late game you could do it consistently with two super rods yeah. if you empty out your deck though but i mean or or you could just have like 30 future cards in the deck and honestly, that's pretty much it. You have good odds of hitting 280, depending on how much future Pokemon is there. But this is very interesting. It's going to be like a calculatable deck. Geniuses are going to love that deck. Uh, memory Dive. Each of your evolved Pokemon can use any attack from its previous evolutions. Very interesting. Not going to be very helpful, in my opinion. We got this Melgrade Tusk. Discard the top card of your opponent's deck. If you played an Ancient Supporter card from your hand, during the skirt, discard three more. So this is absolutely amazing, being able to discard four. Um, if you're in a control D deck and then you pull this off late game, that's crazy. Iron Boulder here, 60 damage during your opponent's next turn. If this Pokemon is damaged by an attack, put eight damage counters on the opponent's attacking Pokemon and also has 200 damage, discard two the energy from this Pokemon. Not the greatest card. I don't think we're going to use too much, see too much of it. Let's see what Gengar does. Whenever your opponent attaches an energy card from their hand to one of your Pokemon, put two damage counters on it. Interesting. Not enough. Not enough. Let's see what his attack does. 160, you may move an energy from your opponent's active Pokemon to one of their bench Pokemon. Not really great. Absolutely weak. Absolutely trash. Fiery Fig, Armor Tail, prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks from your opponent's basic Pokemon. Wow. EX. That's really nice. So it's going to be like uh, countering a lot of decks, actually. But uh, Roaring Moon can still KO it. But anyways, but wow, this counters basically, what do you call it? What does it counter? Nothing. <laughs> there is no basic EX Pokemon. I mean, if the, the, whichever they are. I mean, Roaring Moon, I guess. But Roaring Moon can actually go over there with the fren Frenzied Gouging. So that's not even enough. Uh, but Dirty Beam, 160 damage for 3 energy. This attack also does 30 damage to one of your opponent's pinch Pokemon. Just not good enough. This Roaring Moon is okay. 70 damage plus this attack does 10 more for every ancient card in your discard pile. It's never going to hit like crazy numbers. But you could do 150 damage consistently. And also for three, for four energy, you could do 120. So for two energy, you could do more than what your second attack does, which is, uh, I believe you could do that consistently. This Mutang is kind of crazy how people are popping off on it, but I don't see the potential, but maybe others do. I mean, I guess if you do get one or two energies out, that's enough. Once during your turn, you may look at the top four cards and attach any number of basic metal energy cards you find there to your Pokemon any way you like. Shuffle the other cards and put them on the bottom of your deck. So, I mean, you could still draw yeah you could you could filter your deck get rid of a lot of things and then if you have a lot of energies if you're running like 15 16 energies you can basically get two three energies every single turn very easily with that consistently iron threads here dual core as long as this pokemon has future booster ca energy capsule it is fire and metal passing wheel 60 damage for two energies moving energy from this pokemon to one of your punch pokemon interesting I just don't like it when, uh, well, this is a basic Pokemon and it's a future Pokemon. Wow. So this is going to be really good. I, honestly, I do see a p potential in those future Pokemon decks. Got a Corridon EX. This deck does 10 more damage for every, each damage counter on this Pokemon. Also it has the Kaiser Tackle, 280 damage. Wow. This Kaiser Tackle is crazy. Kaiser Tackle is crazy. 
This is gonna be amazing in uh, one prize decks. This is gonna be an insane deck in one prize deck. This is gonna be an amazing card in one one lost lost zone one prizers. It's gonna be crazy. Wow. You would run this, run uh, Roaring Moon as well, and it would just be crazy. Raging Bolt, everyone's raging about this. Discard your hand, draw six cards. Interesting start. And also Climatic Descent, 70 damage. You may discard any amount of basic energy from your Pokemon's attack. Does 70 damage for each energy discarded. So it does uh, do an insane amount of damage. Can do f 280. But it takes a lot of energy. So you're going to need a lot of ancient Pokemon that can attach energies from the discard pile. It's going to be a little bit hard. Let's look at this, Pidov. Emergency Evolution, once during your turn, if this Pokemon remaining HP is 30 or less, you may search your deck for an Unfizzent or Unfizzent EX and put this, put it on this Pokemon and to evolve it, then shuffle your deck. Wow. Now I want to look at the actual things here, energy. What's the best thing here? Body Poffin is going to be popping. Draw a card for each of your ancient Pokemon and play Awakening Drum is going to be okay. It's not going to be great. Boxed order, search your deck for up to two item cards, reveal them, put them in your hand, then you shuffle your deck. Your turn ends. Could be good for Maradon going turn one. Could be could be really good. Absolutely excited for Cryptomania code breaking. Going to be crazy putting two cards with the barrels. Just going to be broken. Eerie here, so good. Your opponent reveals their hand, choose up two item cards. A lot of disruption, very scared of this. Explorer's Guidance, look at top six cards in your deck. Put two of them to your hand, discard the rest. Absolutely amazing. Going to be really utilized this over Colrus in a lot of decks. Full Metal Lab, all metal Pokemon, take 30 less damage. We still got more future boosters. Reprinted. What is Heavy Baton? If this Pokemon with a retreat cost of four, exactly four, this po card is attached to is in your act is your active Pokemon and is knocked out by damage from an attack from your Pokemon from your opponent's Pokemon. Move up to three basic energy cards from that Pokemon to your bench Pokemon any way you like. <laughs> That's what a Heavy Baton is. <laughs> Trash. During your turn, your Pokemon checkup put two more damage counters on each poison Pokemon. Except any D Pokemon. Dragon Pokemon. Reboot Pod. Attach a basic energy card from your discard pile to each of your future Pokemon in play. That's just not enough, man. I don't know how they can attach so much card. The retreat cost of your opponent of the opponent Pokemon this card is attached to is cost less. If that Pokemon has 30 HP or less remaining, it has no retreat cost instead. Wow. This keyboard is gonna be really cool. Salvatore, search your deck for a Pokemon, except any Pokemon with an ability that evolves from one of your Pokemon play. Put it on that Pokemon to evolve it, then shuffle your deck. You can use this Pokemon that we Wow. And then finally, new upper energy as long as this card is attached to a Pokemon. Provides colorless energy. If this card is attached to a stage 2 Pokemon, also provides two energies instead. Okay, very excited for the new set, guys. I think there's going to be some interesting cards. Uh, Prime Catcher, of course. But there's some going to be really bad cards. Uh, but yeah, I'm very excited for the new set. I think we're going to be ready. Uh, this Sincino is going to be crazy. Also, we kind of jumped over it. And finally, I just want to look at this Iron Juggalius. Auto Marshal, if this Pokemon is in the active spot and is damaged by an attack from your opponent's Pokemon, put three damage counter on the attacking Pokemon. Just not enough. Just not good enough. But yeah, interested in your opinions, guys. Leave them down below. Let's go.